Today, I'm talking about the Skull Candy Crushes. I had fun promising bone shaking base for $100. But are they really that good? Let's find out. In the heavily advertised box, you'll find the headphones, a carrying pouch, an attachable cable, and the microphone. The build is in an extremely cheap feeling plastic that will easily scratch when taken care of. The good side being the headphones are extremely light on the head, the clamping force is great, the headphones have a great amount of noise isolation, the earpiece is large and provide an okay amount of comfort with their foam pads. The top question is that of an interesting design is quite comfortable just properly. They're most likely to fit your head whichever size it may be. The adjustment tool is made of plastic but feels rigid and unlikely to break. Headphones are great for travel as they're able to fold up occupying a small footprint. And the great feature is the detachable cable which can be replaced if you prefer a different type of cable which has been damaged. On the right earpiece is a slider used to adjust the bass boost which we'll be talking about very soon. So the build is good to terrible. What about the sound? Unlike most headphones, you can input a battery that powers the inbuilt amplifier that works quite well without distortion, but they will work without the provided battery. Continuing the theme of exclusivity, they do come with two types of drivers. The first being the REX40. This is the main driver providing most of the frequencies except the deep bass. The second driver being the Sensation 55. Now this driver was specially designed by Skullcandy to provide, in quotes, sensational bass. Without the battery, the signature is quite flat with a slight increase in treble, but they do sound quite sweet. With the battery and no bass boost, there is an increase in loudness and a slight increase in the bass that makes the music more enjoyable due to the amplification of the source. As you move the slider more and more, there's a considerable increase in bass and without the full position, it is an extremely bone-shaking experience. You really, really feel the bass. This, from an audiophile perspective, sounds terrible with tons of distortion, but fits well with high-paced gaming and movies. Now, this is where I split into two camps, deciding if you're going to buy them or not. If you prefer a more balanced signature, they're definitely better headphones in the hotel range that offer better build quality, sound, and build. But if you're looking just to buy these for the base, go ahead. They provide tons of it and overall, they do provide a good amount of features. And a lot of people do like bass. This has been the main reason why the headphones have extremely high ratings on websites such as Amazon. Thank you for watching this review. My name is Joseph and as usual, stay tuned.